हॅलो फ्रेंड्स नाईन्टी पर्सेंट हाऊस ओनर्स मेक ॲट लिस्ट वन इलेक्ट्रिकल मिस्टेक दॅट दे रिग्रेट फॉर देअर एंटायर लाईफ दिस मिस्टेक इज हिडन इन साईड दी वॉल यू कॅनॉट सी इट आफ्टर प्लास्टर बट वन डे इट कॅन कॉज इलेक्ट्रिक शॉक फायर वॉल ब्रेकिंग और डॅमेज अप्लायन्सेस वर्थ लॅक्स इन टुडेज व्हिडिओ आय विल टेल यू थर्टी एट एक्स्ट्रीमली इम्पॉर्टंट इलेक्ट्रिकल टिप्स अँड मिस्टेक्स दॅट इवन मेनी इलेक्ट्रिशियन्स डो नॉट एक्सप्लेन क्लिअरली इफ यू आर बिल्डिंग ए न्यू हाऊस और प्लॅनिंग वन इन फ्युचर दिस व्हिडिओ कॅन लिटरली सेव युअर लाईफ अँड मनी सो स्टे टिल द एंड बिकॉज द लास्ट फ्यू टिप्स आर दी वन्स पीपल रिग्रेट दी मोस्ट लेट अ स्टार्ट सेक्शन वन लाईफ अँड फायर सेफ्टी मिस्टेक्स फ्रेंड्स फर्स्ट वी विल टॉक अबाउट मिस्टेक्स दॅट डिरेक्टली अफेक्ट लाईफ सेफ्टी टिप नंबर वन अर्थिंग इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट अर्थिंग सेफली सेंड्स एक्स्ट्रा इलेक्ट्रिकल करंट इन टू दी ग्राउंड अँड प्रोटेक्ट्स यू फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रिक शॉक ए सी फ्रीज वॉशिंग मशीन गिजर ऑल मस्ट हॅव प्रॉपर अर्थिंग इफ मेटल इलेक्ट्रिकल बॉक्सेस आर यूज दे मस्ट अल्सो बी अर्थ विदाउट अर्थिंग इवन ए स्मॉल फॉल्ट कॅन बिकम डेडली टिप नंबर टू अल्वेज इन्स्टॉल अन आर सी सी बी ऑर आर सी बी ओ अलॉंग विथ एम सी बीज अँड एम सी बी प्रोटेक्ट्स वायर्स बट इट डज नॉट प्रोटेक्ट पीपल फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रिक शॉक अँड आर सी सी बी ऑर आर सी बी ओ इन्स्टंटली कट्स पॉवर इफ देअर इज करंट लिकेज लाईक फ्रॉम फॉल्टी वायरिंग वेट फ्लोअर्स ऑर अप्लायन्सेस प्रिवेंटिंग सिरियस शॉक्स ऑर डेथ स्किपिंग इट टू सेव्ह मनी इज व्हेरी रिस्की एम सी बी सेव्स इक्विपमेंट आर सी सी बी सेव्स लाईव्स टिप नंबर थ्री नेवर अलाव वायर जॉईंट्स इन साईड वॉल्स टेप जॉईंट्स लूजन ओव्हर टाईम ड्यू टू हीट अँड कॉज शॉर्ट सर्किट्स एस्पेशली फॉर ए सी गिजर फ्रीज ओव्हन वायरिंग मस्ट बी कंटिन्युअस विदाउट जॉईंट्स टिप नंबर फोर Never use local or non-branded wires. Always use reputed brands like Polycab, Phenolex, KEI or similar. Wire quality directly decides fire risk. Tip number 5. Always use FRLS wires instead of FR wires. In case of a fire, FRLS wires produce very little smoke. So people can breathe better. and escape safely fr wires may burn with thick toxic smoke which is actually more dangerous than fire itself the price difference is small but the safety difference is huge tip number 6 using the correct wire thickness is very important for safety thin wires heat up when the load is high which can damage appliances or cause fire lights and fans 1 to 1.5 square mm geyser and 16 ampere sockets 2.5 square mm ac usually 4 square mm depends on the ac load always remember wrong wire size means overheating and fire risk tip number 7 always divide house wiring into two separate circuits one circuit should be for lights and fans and another for power sockets if everything is connected to one circuit the load becomes too high wires overheat and mcb strip again and again separate circuits make the wiring safer more stable and trouble free tip number 8 heavy appliances like ac geyser oven and washing machine must have separate circuits If two heavy appliances share the same circuit the load becomes too high wires overheat and mcb strip or worse it can damage appliances or cause fire sharing circuits may look cheaper but it is a common and costly mistake separate circuits mean better safety and longer appliance life tip number 9 choosing the right type of mcb is very important B type MCB should be used for lights and normal sockets. C type MCB is meant for AC, fridge, 
motors and ovens because these appliances draw extra power when they start if the wrong mcb type is used the mcb will trip again and again without any real problem correct mcb selection gives smooth operation and better safety tip number 10 always give separate mcbs for each room kitchen bathroom and outdoor points if a fault happens in one place only that area will lose power not the whole house this makes fault finding easier and keeps the rest of the home running safely without interruption section 2 mistakes that force wall breaking ladder friends now i will tell you mistakes that people realize after shifting into the house tip number 11 Always install a main isolator switch before the MCB box. This switch lets you turn off power to the entire house at once, which is very important during repairs or maintenance. Without it, working on wiring becomes dangerous. Tip number 12. Do not overfill conduit pipes with wires. Overfilled conduits cause overheating. and makes future rewiring impossible tip number 13 ceiling wiring should always be done inside conduit pipes open or loose wires above a false ceiling can get damaged overheated or bitten by rats which increases the risk of short circuit and fire conduit pipes protect the wires keep them neatly in place and make the wiring much safer and long lasting Tip number 14 Bathroom switches should ideally be installed outside the bathroom This keeps them away from water and moisture reducing the risk of electric shock If a switch must be installed inside always use waterproof switches with proper safety protection Water and electricity are dangerous together so extra care is very important in bathrooms Tip number 15 All switches and sockets should be fire retardant and of good quality. Cheap fittings wear out quickly, become loose, heat up, and can cause sparks or fire over time. Good quality fittings last longer and keep your home safe and reliable. Tip number 16. Always use branded switches and sockets. They are better built, last longer. and work smoothly for years cheap ones may look fine at first but they loosen crack or discolor over time branded fittings also keep the same look and finish across the house making everything look neat and uniform tip number 17 the switch should cut the live phase wire not the neutral wire This ensures the appliance is completely disconnected from electricity when turned off, keeping it safe to use. Tip number 18. Plan internal conduits for TV cable, internet, Wi-Fi, AC piping and CCTV before construction. If you don't, wires and pipes will be visible on walls later, making the home look messy and untidy. Tip number 19. Always provide separate conduits for the water motor cable and tank alarm wire. Gas pipes must be planned separately and should never run together with electrical conduits for safety. Tip number 20. Install extra sockets near balconies, windows and entrances for decoration lights. This prevents unsafe use of extension wires later and keeps your home neater and safer. Section 3 Load MCB and Appliance Damage Mistakes Tip number 21 Always get a proper electrical drawing with load calculation before starting work If that is not possible make sure you get a wiring layout after completion This helps for future repairs upgrades or troubleshooting Tip number 22 Decide open or concealed wiring in advance. Concealed wiring looks modern and clean and is preferred today. 
Tip number 23. Fix all leakage and seepage problems before doing concealed wiring. If wiring is done over wet walls or ceilings, it can cause long-term damage, short circuits and safety hazards. Tip number 24. Walls must be strong and properly cured before cutting chases for wiring. Cutting weak or fresh walls can weaken the structure and cause cracks or damage later. Tip number 25. Plan switchboard positions carefully before starting work. Decide in advance where to place TV, router, inverter and AC points to avoid messy changes or extra work later. Tip number 26. Avoid horizontal chases in walls whenever possible. Vertical chases are much safer and keep the wall stronger. Tip number 27. Fix electrical boxes 2 to 3 mm inside the wall surface. This ensures switches and sockets are perfectly aligned, the paint and plaster finish smoothly and the wall looks clean and professional. Too much or no recess causes uneven paint, bumps and misaligned fittings. Tip number 28. Always use fire retardant conduit pipes for wiring. They protect wires, resist fire and prevent accidents. Even thin pipes must meet safety standards because cheap or low quality pipes can melt, break or catch fire. Tip number 29. Always use fiber mesh over electrical chases before plastering. It strengthens the wall, prevents cracks and ensures a smooth long lasting finish. Tip number 30. Always use proper color coding for wires. Phase live brown. Neutral blue. Earth green or green yellow. This makes wiring easy to identify, avoids mistakes and prevents accidents later. Section 4. Planning and Execution Mistakes Tip number 31. Plan slab conduits carefully during slab casting. If the pipes are damaged or broken, it can cause major problems later, like difficult repairs, leaking or unsafe wiring. Tip number 32. Plan fan box positions properly before wiring. Ideally, the fan should be centered in the room or aligned with the bed for better airflow and convenience. Tip number 33. Install switch plates only after painting is finished. If installed earlier, they can get paint stains or scratches, making the finish look messy. Tip number 34. Electrical work is usually charged per point. A point means a switch, socket or light connection and the cost is calculated for each of these separately. Tip number 35. Making extra provisions now saves wall breaking later. Adding extra conduits, sockets or points during construction prevents messy repairs, extra cost and damage in the future. Section 5. Final Payment and Professional Mistakes Tip number 36. Always hire a skilled, experienced electrician. Choosing only cheap rates can lead to poor work, safety hazards and extra costs later. Tip number 37. Always use ISI marked branded electrical materials. They are tested for safety, fire resistance and durability. Ensuring your home and family stays safe. Cheap or unbranded materials may fail, overheat or cause fire. Tip number 38. Hold around 10% payment for a few days. Ensure everything works properly before final payment. Friends, electrical mistakes are silent killers. You don't see them today but you suffer for years. Before finalizing your house electrical work, rewatch this video once and check every point. Now tell me in the comments 
What electrical mistake have you seen or experienced in any house? I read every comment and your experience can save someone else home. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.